Guys, so for this video, I'll be unboxing and talking a little bit about FT Islands over 10 years. This is their 10th anniversary album. So uh, they debuted it in 2007 along with Girls Generation. They also had um, an anniversary album which is called Holiday Night. And I was actually very excited for both groups because I've been following them um, for like eight years now uh, for both. And yes, so I'm a little bit late on getting this, but I finally got it. Uh, so I'll just unbox this first, talk a little bit about FT Island and my collection for them. I rarely talk about them, but they're one of my actual favorite groups. I really enjoy the music they put out and um, they have never really disappointed me. And yeah, so let's get started. So uh, as you can see, this is the cover for it. But usually whenever I do an unboxing, I like making comparisons to a jewel case because um, that would give some people an idea how big the album is in case they're wanting to get it or want to know how big the, um, the album is. So um, this is Red Velvet's uh, Perfect Velvet, the jewel case for it. So this is how big the album is. And it is pretty thick as well. So, yeah, it is a bulky um, little album. So this is the front, like I was saying. Um, then you get the names of the members right here, and then 10 year anniversary. And in the back you get FT Allen and a track listing, which I always really like when albums have the track listing on the back or somewhere around the album. And here's the spine. Um, and there's FDI right there. So this does have a box packaging, but, um, uh, <laughs> they did it right for this. This is actually really good packaging because it has this magnet and as you can hear, um, it's thick. So if you put it like this, it's not going to fall out. So there we have the photo book and yeah. So here's the disc. It's black. Um, I would have preferred for them to keep, um, to have kept this golden, um, color for the letters, or, but yeah, I'm not going to take the CD out since, um, it's just plain black on the back. <laughs> and then again, it tells the member's name right there, over 10 years. I like them that it's called over 10 years, so that you can remember it as like an anniversary album. Oh, and this has a total of, uh, 12, so... 13 songs so it is a good um, album in terms of um, in terms of um, just amount of songs that you get so you get a photo book so I'll start with the photo book and then I'll show you guys the uh, postcard and the photo card that I got and the little poster that you get Okay, so then you get the contents right here again with the songs, 13 songs overall. I don't get why they couldn't just name the last one, um, track number 13. They just said like a special track. And as usual, you get really go good um, pictures with FT Allen because <laughs> everyone in FT Allen is very good looking. Um, yes. Um, and as for this album, I wouldn't necessarily, it's my favorite, um, my favorite FT Island album ever. Um, they kind of been changing up their sound since, um, I forgot what, I don't know what the, um, I, I don't know if the album is called I Will. Um, I think it's called I Will and it has a song Pray. Uh, since that album, they really changed up their sound towards more of that, uh, rock side but um i'm not complaining but i i am actually one of those fans who has been into them during their like debut era or like around the, that time where they mostly released um ballads so i am a little bit more um of a fan of their ballady songs or their kind of pop rock but uh, I'm not complaining since they seem to have a lot of just creative control what they put out. Um, I do think they're going to leave FNC after their contracts expire since the company has really gone downhill um, this couple of years. Um, but I'll be surprised if they stay. 
um, they'll probably they'll probably stay if they get a good offer. Mm, I think they probably res like renewed their contracts um, by getting just the creative um, freedom and just con control over all of their sound in Korea. Because in Japan, they seem really hands on. Um, they are pretty successful in Japan, which has kept them alive, in my opinion. Mm. And if you've been a fan of, of K-pop for a really long time, you know how big FT Island were during their debut days. So they are, um, or they were a really popular group. Um, I don't know why they lost popularity. I think it's just because FNC, FNC focused a lot more on CM Blue once they debuted. And the track list again. So this is a mix between like their old and new sound, which is interesting. Okay, so you get postcards, you get Jong Hoon. Oh no, Jong, yeah, Jong Hoon. Lee Hong Ki. I love his personality. He's so blunt and honest. Like he doesn't have, he doesn't hide anything. Jae Jin, who is really funny. Actually, just a little quick little commentary. He need like if you're an FT Alien fan, if you're a prima donna, you know um what each of these guys can do. But if you have gotten the pleasure and the opportunity to listen to any judging solo stuff, like I think it's like OSTs or random stuff that he has done like theater and stuff. He has a really, really great voice. Obviously, it's not on par with like Honky because he is like on and laying on his on his own. Like Honky is just an outstanding vocalist, and he has this really golden voice. But Jejin is like up there when it comes to just um, just vocal ability. He just doesn't have that texture um, vocally that Honky has, which make FT Allen songs. So I want he he gets. He has gotten like parts here and there um, over the years, but um, I think he definitely deserves like a solo album opportunity. Um, and yeah, I think he deserves it. He has a, just a lot of, he has a great voice. Then we got um, uh, Song Hyun and Min Hwan, who is really funny. So. Those are the postcards you get. So it just says FT Allen and their names on the bottom and over 10 years on the top. You do get a tiny little poster, which is kind of interesting. I'm not a huge poster person. I like, I don't, I'm not going to put this in my room or anywhere, but uh, it is a cool idea. Um, you don't, it's not pictures of the guys, but it just kind of does like a summary of what they've done over the years. So here's part of the poster it says FT Island and it just goes kind of chronological order um, with like some factual information. So I like this. I actually really like that you can read over it and it's all in English or for the most part. Um, and it just goes over their career. So it doesn't have anything on the back. It's pretty small. And the photo card that I got is Jejin. So I think I got him for um, the where are you at or where's the truth i think yeah the thing's called worth the truth i got him again i think so i do have two photo cards from him i don't think i'll be selling this because i rather just keep the photo cards for ft island <sighs> all right so i would say that if you like just more of that um k-rock sound definitely get this if you don't then i don't necessarily recommend listening to this at all because it is mostly that. Um, you do get some ballads here and there. Um, the interesting thing that I really found about this release. Um, no one really seemed to talk about it, first of all. Which is a shame because FT Island are legends in my opinion. Uh, because they have dove into the idol world when there's n there weren't really any uh, bands. So, and usually just bands don't really do that well in Korea, unfortunately. Um, and Japan and other and other places like the United States or the UK, and that's like a whole different story. But in Korea, just they don't do that well. Um, and uh, yeah, the interesting case is that they have this the song that was a special track actually did really well. Um, oh, sorry, my dog is drinking some water. <laughs> um, 
that song actually did really well on the charts. I usually check Melon here and there like every other week just to check what <laughs> what song is or what songs are um, doing well or either if a song's either dropped uh, significantly or if songs are um, uh, rising on the charts. And this song actually did pretty well for a couple of months, which I was really glad that at least one of the promotional songs did decently or just achieve some type of success um ft allen doesn't necessarily do that well when they release their rock sound song so i think um uh, just a smarter way to promote them in my opinion is to um release two singles one with the ballad and one with the rock rocky rocky side of uh or rocky sound that they've been putting out since um, their I Pray era <laughs> and then release a ballad along with it just so they can have that exposure so s then people who are who like the ballad song are going to try to listen to the album and maybe it would just increase the sales um, of the of the physical sales in general if they're going to be willing to purchase it physically or or stream the album as a and like a just just the entire album and that's the good thing about sometimes with um uh, certain groups like they would have um just really commercially friendly singles and then they have a lot of experimental or interesting type of songs as their b-sides and i think that's the case with this album and i'm i hope that the the FNC does that because it seems to work with FT Island. Whenever they release a ballad, it usually does pretty well. Um, while the rocker side just doesn't do that much. It's just not a type of sound that does well in Korea. Korea is more about just ballad songs. So, um, and with a voice like Honky and a song, it just is destined to do well. So I hope that they do promote that way um, uh, because it's just going to keep. Um, their longevity <laughs> and or just keeping them keeping them more relevant and just um, mm, the general public um, because that song did pretty well throughout, throughout the year uh, what else would I say about this uh, good packaging like I was saying uh, this is actually a pretty expensive album um, it's pretty pricey. I got this for a good price though, so that's why it took me a while to get it. Because I I it is pretty bulky and heavy, so obviously I think it's definitely worth the price that it goes for. But for the I would say the average K pop fan it is probably a little bit pricey because it, it's almost thirty dollars, so you have to be like a hardcore fan to really <laughs> Uh, or just a collector in general to buy this so um yeah I'm, I'm at least glad that it is something special for their 10th year anniversary um but hopefully it's a little bit less expensive so a little so more fans are able to afford it for the next album and um what else oh yeah and then for my collection for FTL if anyone's really wondering I will update it probably in the half of the year I am missing two albums in Korea uh, so I think well I think two albums I remember maybe like one or two I may be missing but just there's two that I really want for my collection and then it will be finally complete um, and then uh, for people who have just gotten in F into FT Island and are trying to collect them <laughs> um, good luck my biggest tip would be just buy their stuff now like the stuff that it's easier to just get now because um, even though they do, mm, I would say, pretty okay in terms of physical sales, their stuff seems to be going out of print or becoming a little bit more rare as like the years go by. So it's not like groups like uh, BTS where you're going to, you don't have to worry about certain editions to go out of print like the only thing that's difficult to get from bts is their school of affair like special edition but for ft island 
a good majority of their things are out of print, especially like their debut days. Like th those things are really, really difficult to find. I was lucky enough to buy a good majority of the things they put out over the years. And th that's another reason why I wanted to get this. This was pretty pricey. So I don't think, I don't know if I didn't really get to see the sales for this, but this is probably going to go out of print like in three or four years, in my opinion, um, especially because the... Um, of the price of this so usually a lot of the more expensive albums tend to go out of print when it's not a group that necessarily sells i would say if they sell over like 100 k uh, 100k albums then don't worry about it but ft allen are not reaching those milestones anymore so um i wouldn't take the risk just get the stuff they release so far that or recently that it's easy to get and then try to get those more rare things because there are some albums from FT Island that are priced at like $200, $300 and honestly I am not willing to pay that much money for one album. So it's just kind of more um, going on eBay or going on Amazon or I think from Japan as well as like, like a good little website to go here and there to find their stuff because... Um, they are a very difficult group to collect. Um, they don't have a lot of albums. They have a decent amount for the amount they, for the amount of years they've been like in the game. Um, but they're extremely difficult to collect because those albums are out of print. And if you're starting to collect now, good luck. Good luck. If you have any other questions, just comment down below. I'll try to help you out. Um, but yeah. I will be uploading my collection for them once again in the middle of the year or probably near the end of the year. I'll only update a few groups, a few groups collection. I think FT Island is going to be one of those few groups since I am planning to get those two albums by the end of the year. So I can just finally complete my, um, my main uh, goal for them, which is their Korean discography. Because I don't necessarily listen to their Japanese stuff. Because I'm afraid to <laughs> get too much into it and then struggle buying that uh, Japanese stuff because it's usually more expensive than the Korean. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, and as for upcoming videos, I am I am uh, I just ordered G Friends uh, Rainbow the repackage of their album Parallel BTS Her I forgot which edition uh, BAP Blue Moon Temin uh moving or move the repackage uh Taeyeon this christmas um which is her christmas or winter album that she released um in 2017 and hopefully i'll order infinite once it comes out because i really want to support them so uh those will be the upcoming videos on my channel for k-pop um in terms of unboxings and yeah Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Bye.